has tidy money champion. Today's video is about how to make shower shop smoothie. This fruit called shower shop. Many people did not know it. I decided to do this video when I was telling somebody about shower shop. The person was asking me, how am I going to consume it? We make a video so that you will know how to consume it. After listening to this video or watching this video, there's other video about how this shower shop cure prostate cancer and also those with breast cancer can also use it. And you don't even need to have it before you started using this thing. Use it to prevent it so that you will not form victim. So this shower shop here, we have, you, you can use it in a different way. You wash your hand very well. I have washed my hand, wash all these plates. So you can just do it this way, cut it like this. When you cut it this way, remember that the shower shop you are going to use should be ripe one. When it's ripe, it will be very soft. It will be very soft. Look at it. But on ripe one is strong. It's ripe one you are going to use. Just peel off the skin. Peel it off. That's why you need to wash your hand very well. We are going to use your hands to make it. Peel it off this way. This is it. I finished peeling it. I'm removing the... There's one big... This thing inside the center. Look like stick. Just remove it. Then, there's a seed inside. You don't need to consume the seed. This is, this is the seed. Just remove the seed. Remove the seed from inside. We don't need the seed. You can plant the seed to have your own tree. It has a lot of seed. Just remove the seed from it. You blend. You can also do it this way. That's why filter is here. You can also do it this way. Put it inside the filter. This way. You can put it in it this way. Bigger bowl. You see that the juice is coming out. With this one, you don't need to blend. The juice is coming out already. This one is another simple, easy way of removing the seed. So, this is the juice, the puree. This is what you need to drink. So you drink it. When you listen to the audio video, you are going to understand it more better. So let's listen to the audio video. Good morning, everyone that's listening to this um, audio message. My name is Victor Mbamwa. I'm 63 years old. I want to share this um, message um, with everybody who is uh, listening to this um, audio message how I survived prostate cancer not prostate enlightenment prostate cancer I was diagnosed of prostate cancer a few years ago and I've been managing it I've gone to a series of hospitals, taken some tests, sorry, done some tests and some scans, and um, since then it kept um, degenerating. I never knew what to do. At one time they said I will go for uh, scraping. The doctor said I will go for scraping. That's what they call scraping, and and they will do it perfectly. And I called my kid brother, I told him about this. He said, no, it has to be reoperation. But when I investigated, I found out that among 100% or like 100 people, they operate, 80 people or 85 people would die after a few years, after a few days, a few months. So I became scared. I said, I'm not going for operation. 
that if he, it means death and then mind because by the time they operate you you are no more a man as you used to be and and um when you're no more a man even in the house you know what it means so i decided i have to die with the prostate if it's what is going to send me home and um last year it got to the extent that i cannot peel well through my cucumber and i used to have pressure on my cucumber and uh it got to the extent let me just fasten it it just got to the extent that it has to be dropping it has to be dropping and when i package it and uh, my trousers will be wet you know and I told a few people, they said I should go for operation. I told the doctor, my doctor it said I should come for operation. I rejected it. So, But my mind is telling me that I, I have to die because I can't bring myself going for operation, spending a lot of money, spending time, and on an operation that's going to be 50-50, and at last... Um, that person is going to die. So instead of dying tomorrow, I better die now. That's what I concluded. So um, I, um, um, sometime October last year, I couldn't even be again. I sleeps in in the um, restroom. I stayed there when I will, if I go to pee, I will stay there like twenty minutes. And the pain is satanic. The pain is so severe that um, you can hardly bear it. That was the time my wife had when I was doing. Mm, mm, she started crying. I don't want to cry. The worst is coming. I had to just brace up, and and let her just brace up and be strong. Because uh, anything can happen. I'm not going for operation. She knelt down, started begging me. It's better you stay alive. Uh, even if you're not a man, I can manage you. I told her, no, if I go for operation and die two years later, it's still the same dead. You know, uh, I refused. So it got to the end, I started going through my lungs and my neck, my knees. I couldn't walk. I couldn't get to work either. If I'm driving to work, I have to stop on the wheel like 10 times to pee. And when I'm peeing, everybody would know that something is wrong with me. So I, I don't know. I, I, I then um, went, it got to the extent I couldn't bear it. I went to see my doctor. My doctor checked and said it's going to do PSA test and a series of tests. And PSA test is going to take two weeks or a week and. And I told my doctor that I'm going to die before that the test, the result comes out. He said, why are you saying like that? I said, no, what I'm passing through. So um, that was on Friday of that month. You can remember the day now. So on Sunday, I was supposed to go for a village meeting, which I am one of the executives. And I couldn't go for the meeting because I was all those wearing kind of pampas. I went and bought tight panties and I have to put um, napkin or hand towel inside to drive out to, to walk, to stay a few, few hours and come back. So um, when I told them, because I don't hide myself, I don't know how to keep quiet, you know. So when I told them, another person called me, about five people called me. So one of my younger brothers called me. I told him, he said, my brother, why are you doing all this? It's very simple. Uh, come on, you didn't tell anybody. It's simple. I've cured a lot of people with, uh, your own is simple. There are some people are carrying urine bag all about. I've cured about four or five of them. Jesus Christ. Are you, are you kidding me? I said, no, it's just simple. Go and look for sour sap. Go and look for sour sap. First, first, first of all, you got to stop eating anything starch, anything carbohydrate, anything, sorry, anything starch, anything sugar. You have to stop sugar completely, starting from honey, refined sugar, or any food that, that can transform to sugar inside your body. You got to stop it. You got to stop drinking. You got to stop anything apart from beans and sour sap. You have to prepare a ripe sour sap like smoothie, turn it like pap, and then eat it with beans. Before you eat it one week, my brother, you come and testify. I got up because 
I've gone on social media, I've gone on Facebook, I've taken Pussy Stropper, I've taken Ginger Bull, I've taken a lot of them on the social media, I've taken some supplement from, um, what's the name, from New Life, it couldn't work. So, I then got up, wear my panties, and my papa's, as usual, went to my Tama fruit market. Luckily, I saw a lot of them there, I have to chatter it. Right one, I ate beans and that smoothie shower sap in the afternoon. I ate another one around nine in the evening. Then in the morning on Monday, I ate another one. Man, in the afternoon on Monday, oh my God, it worked like miracle. Miracle. It was miraculous. I wanted to pee. I just notice urine is coming out on its own without stress, without pain. It wasn't streaming, it was not forceful, but it was coming out, you know. I didn't put my hands on, on my waist, I didn't scream, there was no pain. Jesus Christ. I noticed below my abdomen, okay, sorry, before I got that, in the morning, you see what, I, what came out of my stomach from my anus? Uh, in fact, I was overwhelmed. I was so happy. My abdomen, below my abdomen that was paining me, relieved me. And then I took that diet kind of supplement for two weeks. And I am now a full man that can use my cucumber that I used to be before. I am now a full man. And in the process, once in a while, you drink tomato juice one cup like two times in a week tomato raw tomato juice organic tomato not refined tomato tomato seed grind it or blend it drink one cup two times in a week and onion onion like 30 cl 30 cl once in two weeks that will help Pete to fasten the healing so it is miracle it is miracle now i can perform well and if i'm if i'm peeing now my pee can till the ground that's to show how forceful it is at 63 years i'm still acting as even 25 20. so i want this audio message to go viral to go everywhere to help men who are dying of prostate cancer because even the last can i went to they said it's cancerous they showed it to me on the screen cancer is is in fact the doctor said if the psa result comes out it's going to do another test to know if they're going to remove both my testes so which kind of a man am i if they remove my testes and everything makes me a man so please if it gets to you share this audio a message so that I can reach some men that are suffering from it. One of my friends went for operation and has been I, I, urging me to go for it. I refused. When I told him this testimony, he started crying. He said, why did he not know all these things? So well, I believe what they said in the Bible that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. We don't know. Nobody knows. And God has brought, I don't know how to put it, every solution to every sickness but it's just that we have not found out this i'm telling you works my like magic when you use it you're going to be happy and you're going to give it to other people i thought of going from hospital to hospital to meet people who are you know you know sick of prostate cancer but i'm beginning to wonder what the hospital management is going to tell me and I, I wouldn't like embarrassment. I wanted to go to a urology section and tell them, but I'm wondering, I don't know anywhere in Nigeria where freedom of speech is not really um, encouraging. And, and so, so please, as you are hearing it, spread it. One more thing, when you start this shower soap and beans, after two weeks, you now start taking, do that every evening, one capsule do that 
do that every evening it's quite expensive but it's um i think it's one month treatment take it a long time and don't stop the shower sap once in a while even if you are healed thank you very much have a good life to live and please share we want to eradicate breast cancer and prostate cancer because this shower sap and beans too can take care of breast cancer other beans akara or moi moi beans akara or moi moi porridge beans akara or moi moi please share it so that we will together eradicate the case of prostate cancer and breast cancer that's killing people every time and remember what will help us too is diet because what we eat now is poison i was told earlier i didn't believe it because we eat anyhow back in the west we eat anything you know i thought like my exercise because i work out every day two hours will help but couldn't really solve but it helps it helps to a wider extent so please share this audio message so that we can jointly eradicate breast cancer and prostate cancer thank you and have a good day enjoy yourself in a good life this is after the audio video is a great testimony people with prostate cancer breast cancer you don't even need to have it before you started consuming this thing you can be doing it once in a while to prevent prevention is better than cure to prevent it spread this news to your loved one even to your enemy because you don't wish your enemy dead you are also somebody's enemy cash it yeah